money is going to help advance technology at NC State University. Yeah, the White House and Department of Defense are funding the university for more semiconductor electronics research. Here's CBS 17's Maria Hollingsworth. President Biden's chief science and technology advisor, the Department of Defense, and others gathered at NC State's Alumni Center to announce $19 million in funding to further semiconductor research. <laughs> Through the Claws Microelectronics Hub, NC State is working to further research in wide-band gap semiconductors. The hub is one of eight established by the Biden administration's Chips and Science Act. Wide-band gap semiconductors have been invented uh, here in North Carolina. Uh, you see that in companies like Wolfspeed, uh, Kyma Technologies, Adroit Materials. Uh, so we've got a great uh, uh, base and a great start to do interesting technologies. The goal of the program is to increase production and manufacturing of semiconductors here in the United States. Currently, Taiwan tops the list as the largest producer of advanced semiconductors. Right here at NC State with this um, work that they're doing on a particular class of wide band gap semiconductors, <laughs> these are the devices that we need for advanced radars and power electronics. Our military needs them, but we need them for our clean energy future as well. And we, this, this area's got such a tremendous track record of the, in this technology. This is about the next generation. And the White House says the U.S. produces about 10 percent of the global supply of semiconductor chips. They're hoping with programs like these, they can increase production over the next decade. In Raleigh, Brea Hollingsworth, CBS 17 News.